Summary of First Confession by Frank O'Connor Jackie, an Irish Catholic boy who is seven years old, feels ashamed and sickened by his grandma, Gran, when she moves in with his family. He doesn't like the way she acts so much that he won't sit down to eat with her. When his sister Nora tries to make him eat at the table, he uses a bread knife to hurt her. Jackie's father hits him for being bad, but his mother steps in to help Jackie. After this happened, everyone in the family is angry for a week. Jackie thinks that everything is his grandmother's fault and that she has to leave the house for him to feel better. Jackie is getting ready for his first confession, which is a Catholic ceremony for making up for mistakes. His teacher, Mrs. Ryan, is crazy about hell, and she told Jackie a scary story about a man who didn't admit all his sins and went to hell because of it. Even so, Jackie doesn't know if he should tell the priest that he attacked his sister and tried to kill his grandma, because these sins seem so big. Jackie doesn't know where to sit in the chapel when he goes to confession, so he climbs up onto a shelf made for adults' elbows. He falls from the shelf and out of the chapel. The priest is angry at first, but Nora scolds Jackie and hits the priest in the ear. Nora hit Jackie, so the priest gets mad at her and tells her to leave. Jackie is shown how to sit in the confessional by the priest. Jackie feels safe around him, so he tells the priest about how he hurt Nora and tried to kill Gran. The priest tells him that both of these angry feelings are normal and understandable, even though he just scolded Nora for hitting Jackie in a much smaller way. Jackie only has to say three short prayers of penance, and then the priest gives him candy. Both Jackie and Nora know that they don't have to be good when they leave the church. They can see that Jackie is more popular than Nora. About the author. Frank O'Connor was born and grew up in the Irish city of Cork. His father was often drunk and angry, while his mother worked hard to support the family and taught him about Shakespeare and other artists and writers. O'Connor said that all the books he read as a child made him feel like he was living in a dream. At age 18, he joined the British Army to fight against the Free State Rebels in the Irish Civil War, 1922-1923. Still, he didn't agree with views that were too extreme, and he didn't shoot enemy soldiers who were out with their women. After that, he worked as a librarian, a teacher, and a theatre director. He also became friends with many great Irish writers of the time, including William Butler Yeats. From 1950 until he died in 1966, he lived and taught writing in the United States. He kept close links with his home country of Ireland, though. Even though he is best known for his short stories, he also wrote plays, longer works of fiction, biographies, histories, poems, diaries, and translations from Irish into English. In his honor, the Frank O'Connor International Short Story Award is given. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.